Hello again. This is our second session where we will review how to use organization APIs to create organization templates. The workflow is very similar to platform, but here we have the main difference. You cannot create an organization template from scratch. You have to use a subscribed root template, which was previously created on the platform as a foundation. So first we have to log into our system again. And having performed this acquired token operation, our next step is to list our asset templates that are available on the organization node. Now we can try to find our new template. It was named test template 12th of August. So if we scroll through, we can find that it is here available. Now that we know that this template is present on the organization Corda node, we can perform different operations using it. We will need this template identifier and we have the same call operation as on the platform node. This requires us to have the template identification that we would like to clone. We can provide some basic information, such as description, a logo, some tags as well. Here's some old text, but I'm not going to change it. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Now let's perform a clone operation. Here we must change the name. The asset template name must be unique, but it's okay, we have an identifier as a newly created template. We have to publish it first in order to be able to create assets from it, to merge it, extend it, and all other processes. Now we can perform the publish process and we can see it also succeeded. Also in regard to tag registration, on the organization node, you are not able to create tags. They are managed on the platform node only. And when you perform any operation on any tag on the platform node, the changes are automatically propagated to the whole Corda network. Here we can see that the process will return the list of all tags and our new tag is also included. Currently, we haven't performed any share action, the same get process to retrieve the full information on our new tag structure. So for this second session, I hope you have found it informative.